Okay, we're up to Nazir, Lamed Aleph Amid Beis, the Mishnah. So Mishnah Nadeb and Nazir, a guy makes an Edeb and Nazir. We had this yesterday. I didn't explain it well because I didn't know it well. But Mishnah Nadeb and Nazir. And the question was, he he, he said a questionable Lashen, whether it was a Nazir or not. Because we had Yodais, we had Kinuyim, you know. He said a Lashen that he was Mesupic, whether he was a Nazir or not. But Nisha. Now, usually when we say Shela, it means usually to go ahead and take off the Naziris. Here, the question is a question of a question. The Nisha Lechacham, am I a Nazir or not? In other words, the, the Lashon that I said is a Lashon of Naziris or not. So this Venisha is not your classic Venisha, which usually means he Shela on the Naziris and uproots it lemafreya. This means that not he asked the question whether he was a Nazir or not. Be Asru. And they, they said he's not Asr. Now, the problem was, this fellow, he was Mekabal Naziris, and since he was Mesupic, he indulged in wine. In other words, he drank. And now they said, lo and behold, you were a Nazir and you did not have a right to drink. The halacha is, according to the Chachamim, Moina Misho Shenadar. You, you, he starts counting from the time of his Naziris. In other words, we don't say, let's say he drank for, he was Mekabal Naziris for 100 days, and he drank for 40 days. We don't say he has to be a Nuz now for 140 days. He only has to be a Nuz for 100 days. We count those days in his ears. We, we count those days of his ears. In other words, as if, as if he did nothing wrong. As if, as if he did nothing wrong. Okay, we're joined by Shragi Binnick. Okay, so, so we count those days in his ears as if he did, did nothing wrong. That, that's the... Now, Nisha Lechacham, let's say he goes ahead and he asks the Chacham, the Hitiru and the Chacham said, you know what? You weren't a Nazir. The Hitiru, the Chacham said you were not a Nazir, right? And now, let's say he was thought he was a Nazir and he separated his Karbanis. Let's say he separated his, his male sheep, his female sheep, and his aisle. This is what we had yesterday, guys. It was, it was a mistake, right? My Nazirus, my separation of those Karbanis was a total mistake. It was a Hegdish Bitois, correct? After all, I wasn't a Nazir, so the Hegdish was a Hegdish Bitois. Therefore, they go back to the to the corral, they go back to the herd. So, the, 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 does, it, does it make a difference if he's Nitla or Mason, not just drink wine? Would that make it all a difference in the first case? Yeah, Tom of the Mason, you, may, you have the Shiloh then about, you may have the Shiloh then about Zion days, you may have the whole, whole you know, the Din of Tuma. But Lechaira, the practical difference would be that he, he drank wine. No, it's, I think that the point is that it is, it's not uprooted. The Naziris of Mason is always uprooted, Hesh. Hesh, if he was right. a Nazir, a real Nazir, they would be uprooted. So it would make a difference in your case, right? Okay. So again, Nachamal, let's go over one more time. The Mishnah says the following. The Mishnah says, a guy went ahead with was Kabbalah Naziris. The notion that he was Makabal, he was Mesupic, whether it was Kabbalah Naziris or not, and therefore he drank wine during that time. He makes his way over to Bezdin. He says to Bezdin, I was Makabal Naziris in this Lushan so and so. What's the din? They say, Well, you're a full fledged Nazir. And he says, Oh my God, oh my golly, oh my goodness, heavens to Betsy, I went ahead and I drank wine during this time. So, what am I? Do I have to start counting from? Now, when you told me I was a Nazir, does the other day, I, I, I count, do they count towards that Naziris? And the answer is, those days count in Naziris. In other words, let's say working a work, working model, you were Makam Naziris for 100 days, You on day 40 of the Naziris, you go to Bezdin, you find out that those 40 days that you drank wine, you were in fact were a Nazir, you still just finished the Naziris when? At 100 days. But minor light from the time you made the nether, 100 days. That's the Shita Tanakam. What happens if you go ahead one and find out that you were not a Nazir and you had separated the Kabbanis? Nimsa, that Hegdish of the Kabbanis was a Hegdish Betois. And since it was a Hegdish Betois, then what? Then the animals go back to Chulin. But that's that's the din of the Mishnah. Guys, good? Okay, now, says the Gemara, Omru Beisil Beishamai, Iyat Hemoidim Bezeh, Shahu Hegdish Betois. Aren't you more that our last case, the reason they go back to the Eder is because it was the Hegdish Betois? Aren't you more that it was the Hegdish Betois? 
That's why they're going back to Chul and you were magdish the animals that you don't have to be magdish. You weren't in Nazir. And we, again, we brought this yesterday. Remember, guys, we had a whole sugi yesterday with the black and the white animal and the gold and the silver and the wine and the and the and the shemen. What, what does Beis Shammai hold? We had sheets of papa. He also takes not a twice in the end. Tights up the lotion, and we brought in this gemara to show einachinami the fact that Beis Hill is saying to Beis Shammai that aren't you more than the hegdish betoyis? And you hold Hegdish Betoyes, what is Hegdish? So how could it go back to Chulin? How could it go back to the Eder? That's the Gemara we born in yesterday, right? That's the Gemara we born in yesterday. It's it's still fresh in our minds that I consider it Chazara. So now, I was just kidding. Anyway, so says the Gemara. He says, Shetetzi Betira Be'eder. So oh, listen now. They could have said that they could have brought a Tamura, right? I learned Tamura, Tchilas Hegdish, Saif Hegdish, correct? We, yesterday, the Tamura is considered Saif Hegdish because you're manifesting in a, in a, in a, a Kedusha that was there already before. But they don't say that. Why do they say? They say the following. They say the following. Hello, is there? Yeah, I'm in the middle of share. Let me give you a, let me give you a bracha. Yeah. Really enjoyed this week. All the best. Okay. So, so guys, listen outside for people who are not familiar with culture. We know there's a din of Maisa Behema. We know there's a din of Maisa Behema that. Any animal born, born within uh, the that particular year, Machlek is when it ends, first Mr. Rosh Hashanah, when Maisa Behema ends Rosh Hashanah. So you put them in a corral, they come out, and every 10th animal you take a red red stick, you hit it on the back, and that one is, is, is Maisa Behema. It has a thin, similar to a Bechar, you bring it, it's a, it's a carbon, you bring it up to Yushalayim, you eat it, it has spritz like a Karim Pesach, one spritz, you say it every day. Now this guy gets mixed up. He calls number nine ten, and he hits number and he hits it with a stick. He calls number nine ten, and then he realizes he made a mistake. So the, what does he do? He, he calls number ten nine. He says, right. And he calls number ten nine, and then he calls number eleven ten. So you have three kabbanis. One he called ten, the tenth one he called nine, and the third one he, he called ten, which is the eleventh. The halacha is. That they're all Kaidish. The, the ninth and the eleventh are Shlomim, and the tenth one's the tenth because it's the tenth one, despite the fact they called it nine. Now, Lechaira, Beishamai says to Beishilo, how can you say that Hegdish Betois, Lahavi Hegdish? Clearly, this is a case of Hegdish Betois, and they're all Kaddish. Says Beishamai. Amr Beishil Beishamai, Yitam Vaydim is Eshu Hegdish Betois, in the case, Shetetsa Beidah. What are you talking about? A guy made a mistake when he was doing his Maisa uh, Behema. The Korolet Tshi Asiri, he calls the ninth one tenth. Then he goes, Oh, Ula Asiri Tshi. And then he calls instead of, I got to correct the ninth, he calls the tenth one nine. Ula Acha Asa Asiri, and he calls eleven ten. Shahu Muk Mekaidesh. Right? That is Kaidesh. I, that's Hegdesh Betois. I'm only basically. It's not the shave that's being magdashit. It's not your action that's being magdashit. I'll prove it to you. He calls number eight ten. Why is he calling number eight ten? Why is he calling number eight ten? Why is he calling Did he do anything? He did. It's not. In other words, according to you, Beishamai, that you're holding that the act of nine ten uh, uh, ten nine ten right is your action is being magdashit and therefore what you see hegdish betoyis havi hegdish I'll disprove you said Basilo. because if you would call number eight ten and number twelve ten it doesn't mean anything ah you hegdish betoyis so you see that this this configuration of ten nine ten is Allah is Allah of a pasik. It's a it's a kasim. It has nothing to do with your act of hegdish. So hegdish betoyis loyavi hegdish. And the raya you want to bring what from from my sabehima is nishkain raya. And the biggest raya is number eight and number ten. You magdish betoyis and number eight and number twelve, and they're not. Ella, what do you have to say? Kasim 
It's not your shevet that does it, but it's the pasuk shekidish or asiri who kidish at she yes achad asa. It's the pasuk that makes number what number ten and number nine and number eleven. Okay, so now going back over the Mishnah, what was the first thing of the Mishnah that if a person makes a lotion where he's misupik whether he was a, a, a not. He, in fact, does not keep his Naziris. He finds out later that he was a Nazir. The days that he counted would count towards his Naziris. The day that he ca- that he counted would count towards his Naziris. Okay, says the Gemara. Money must Nisan. Who's the Tana of our Mishnah? Loi Reb Yaisi, Loi Rabbanon. It's not Reb Yaisi and not the Rabbanon who we're going to meet right now. The Tanya. Mi she the person made a neder. And he was over on his ears. So, Amos Kok and Loy, the Chachamim will not, be, will not listen to him to matter his nether, nor will the, the Kahanim bring, nor will the Kahanim bring the Kabanis at the time that you want to bring it. In other words, he, let's say he's become a for 100 days, he was over on the Naziris, he, the Chachamim are not going to, a day 100's over, they're not going to bring it. They're not going to bring it. They're not going to listen to him. You, you, are not, we're not going to let, let you end in the series till you keep a real Naziris. This is what it says. Now, Elim Cain, Moina Bahem, Isser, Kiyomim, Shinog Bahem Heta. The amount of days that you annoy Heta, you have to, will cancel you to Iran. So, for example, in our, in our scenario, 100, he was in the Naziris for 100 days, 40 days he drank wine. He's going to be a Nazir for 140 days. In other words, we're, we're not going to let him off at 100. We're going to extend the amount of days that he blew. We're going to extend to the end of his Naziris. Good? That's not our Mishnah, guys. Our Mishnah said what? We're going to count those 40 days. He's going to end at 100. Now, who said that? That's the Chachomim. So clearly the Chachomim can't be the Tan of our Mishnah. They can't be the Tan of our Mishnah because our Mishnah says clearly what? You ended 100, whatever the Kabbalah was, here you're extending beyond. Uh, Rabbi, Yossi, I mean, Rabbi Yossi says, it will be enough 30 days, meaning you end the series at 130. No matter how many days you are over, the Kanas will not extend beyond a normal series. So in our scenario over here, you should go ahead and have to keep 140 days. You only keep 130 days. The Kanas will only be 30 days. You cannot keep more than the than 30 days more. That's it. So like the Chachamim, you're going to keep the amount you blew. Like Rabbi Yossi, no matter how many days you blew, in this case 40, we're going to get caught, uh, cut it 10 days short. It's going to end at 130, not 140. Good? Now, says the Gemara, Ira Bonon, Kosher Naziris, change the gears to guys. Meruba. If it's Shver, it's Kasha Naziris in Meruba. Our Mishnah says the Naziris ends at 100. They say the Naziris extends beyond 100, right? Naziris Meruba. I Reb Yoisi, Kasha Naziris Muetes. If it's Reb Yoisi, it will be Kasha Naziris Muetes. Because like, like Reb Yoisi, let's say you, you, you kept the Naziris for 30 days. Stam Naziris is Shleishim Yoyim. Good. Like us, let's say you blew two days, right? You'd still get 30 days. You blow three days, 30 days. Let Rabbi you're going to have to keep another 30 days, right? You're going to have to keep, you're going to cancel the guy to 60. So it says the Gemara, Ibo Yisem Rabbi Vi Yisem Rabbi Work out according to both of them. Ibo Yisem Rabbi Yisem Rabbi Yisem, Kam ben Naziris Merubah, Kam ben Naziris Merubah. Naziris Merubah, I'm Mishnah speaking Naziris Merubah. So let's, let's, let's do a cheshben over here. Let's say he went ahead and he... He made the zeros for a hundred and and again a hundred and forty, right? So a light rev you see, out of those, he's not gonna have to go ahead and make up since he he has 60 more days. In other words, he has 40 days he kept. You're gonna have to keep 130 days, correct? But those 60 days that he's keeping, right, will count towards the 30 that he won't have to keep another. 30. He won't have to keep 160. We'll count of the 60 days remaining of, he'll, th- again, 30 he'll, he'll have to go ahead and keep, and then he'll have to keep another 60, but it won't go beyond 130, right? So when the Mishnah meant, what the Mishnah went and it said that, what well, it doesn't mean that you're going to end at 100. It means that in the 60 days that are there is nivla some of the 30 days of, of Rabbi Yaisi's Cheshbin. That's Rabbi Yaisi. And uh, what about the Chachamim? Don't say you'll start counting from the time he made the nether. 
but go ahead and start counting like from from Misha, Misha, Kim Mishana, like the time he made the nether. So like the time he made the nether was 40 days ago, he'd have to keep another 40 days, right? So in other words, we thought him Amish the meant 100 days, it never goes beyond 100. No, it doesn't mean it goes beyond 100. Whatever day that he ends up, he's going to have to go ahead and make up those days. Kim So either way, work out according to Rabbanon, either way, work out according to Reb And therefore the Mishnah could be according to both. Okay, we said the following. Nisha lechachamim b'tirua. They went to the chacham, and the chacham matter them. So nim said that what that his lashon of the ziris wasn't a nus in the ziris, and therefore his hegdish was hegdish betois. What did he do? He thought he was a nazir. He thought he was a nazir. He went and he separated the kabbalas of the ziris, saying this is kaddish. Once you find out you're not a nazir, they go back. They go mamish into back into chulin. They go back into the corral. So you see that Hegdish Betoy is what? Like Havi Hegdish comes along, Hillel, and takes, and he torts this Beishamai, he gives this case in front of him and says, Take a look, guys. Guy, take a look. What was the retort of, of Beishamai? They retort from Mysa Behema, from the 9 10 9 scenario, the, the 10 9 10 scenario. Says the Gemara. Amrav Yemia, may the Beishamai Nishmal of Beis Hillel. From the words of Beishamai, from the words of Beishamai, we could hear what? The words of Beis Hillel. From the words of Beis Shammai, we could hear the words what of Beis Hillel. From what, what must he hold? La Vami Beis Shammai, Hegdish Betoyes Havi Hegdish, right? Says right. That's what he holds. Even the Glory Milsa the Lav Shap in Nazar. Since it becomes clear that what that he was not a Nazir, because after all the lashon that he used was not a lashon of Naziris. So what happens? Teitze Betira Beide. They go back to Chulin. The Beis Hillel Nami. Afa gav the army tamura betoyis have tamura, even though Beis Shammai Beis Hillel says the tamura betoyis have tamura. Yesterday's Gemara kodesh yia in any scenario. However, hani mili hecha de isil oka hegdish. That's where what the behema that he made the that he made the netherin is ika hegdish. In other words, you had in front of you two animals. One was a oila, one was a shlamim. You put an animal a chulin. You wanted to say. I, this, I want this animal chulin to be kodesh. The other one says, you want this animal chulin to be shlamim, either shlamim or an oila, and you blow it. I want to say oila, oila, I said shlamim. So that scenario, Beis Hillel would say that what, that hegdish betois, that, that is b'shoigeg would be. What would be the parallel case from Tamura to our case? In other words, in our case, you removed the naziris. It wasn't there. Let's say the person would say the following. I have two animals, animal A and animal B. And I go ahead and I'm oika the, the kedusha. I'm shoyal and say, had I known that, that this ox was going to be this ox, I would have taken another ox, right? And you're oika the kedusha from that ox. And then you make a tamura, it's not a tamura. That would be similar to our case, where you're oika the zeris, there you're oika what? The tamura. So it says the Gemara. Even though we say Tumur Batois is Tumura, Hani Mili, when is Tumur Batois and Tumura? Hecha, the Isya, the Ika Hegdish. That's when the Ika Hegdish is still there. I will Hecha, the Miss Aka Ika Hegdish. If you magdish the animal as the carbon, and then you bring another one, and you say this should be in this, and then the Chachalim take off the Kedusha from the first carbon, in that case, it's Aka Nami Tumura. The Tumura will not be a Tumura. Just like these animals no longer are the Zeris, they go the Chulin. So to the animal that you made a Tumura, Again, you made a tamura. You, hear, you said this is like this, right? And then you were like this. This animal will lose its kedusha, just like over here. I thought I was a nazir. The animals were kaidish. Now you tell me I'm not a nazir, and the animals were chulin. Who I think this animal is no longer tamura. So therefore, we have the parallel case. Amamar, <laughs> going back over the brisa. Again, going through it again one more time, guys. The guy's counting my behema. Mistakenly says in number nine ten. And then he says, oh, he realizes the mistake. And therefore he said nine. On 10, he said nine. And then on 11, he said 10. They're all Kaddish. Good. The, the nine, and, uh, nine and 11 are Shlomim. And the 10th one, since it's the 10th one, even though you called it nine, is what? Is the carbon what? Is the carbon my subhema. They have different Allahs. The, the Manastamim, the Zman Achila. Anyway, it says more. Itmar, my sub. Let's say I would have said number nine is ten, and number ten is nine, number is ten. I didn't make a mistake. I said it. Would the halacha apply or not? 
does the halacha only apply in a mistaken scenario? Well, no, because Eretz HaKasav is, since nine, 9 and 11 are samich to 10, if you go ahead and call each one 10, it would be 10. It would work, even if called number 10, 9. Says the Gemara. So it says, Rabbi Nachman, Dafka to Usai, Blood, Kavana, say. Dafka, if you make a mistake, but not if you do the Kavana. If Christa, Rabbi Rav Huna Ami, to Usai, the culture in Kavana, say. If you make a mistake and call Shikane, if you go ahead and have a Kavana. Says of Christa, Ran Rabba, but Rav Huna, if you pick Kavana, you make the mistake, it would work. In other words, there's a Svara to say, if my Kavana was that this animal should be this animal, it is. You're calling number 910. The Torah tells me it's Kaddish. If my Kavana was number 10, it's number 10. If I call number 11, number 10, it's my Kavana. What's the Raya? If mistakenly it's, it's Kaddish, certainly the Kavana it's Kaddish. It's totally on my Das. So Rav Nachman says it's only, only Betois and Rav Huna and uh, Rav Nachman and Rav, and Rav Rav Huna, they say even, even the Kavana. Fred Gemara on Rav Nachman, Amalei Rav Rav Nachman, who said only betois, not bekavano. Lidi doch the Amrit to Usai v'leib kavanasai that if you would call nine or ten and ten nine and eleven ten, it wouldn't work. The kind of Shammai the Beis Hillel that Beis Shammai retorted to Beis Hillel from Ma'aseh Behema. Iyatamoy dem shi lekarot shi asir asir shi lachadasa asir shashlashim mekudashim v'shtiku Beis Hillel and Beis Hillel was quiet. It's much that Basil didn't have a Basil was quiet. He should have told Beishamai, why are you being arrived from Isa Behema? Mala Maisa Behema, Shakane, ain't a Kaddish Bikavana. You know what? Maisa Behema, the reason why it's Kaddish has nothing to do with the Kavana of a person. Guys, what's the case of Hegdish Betois? The case of Hegdish Betois is where you verbally do it. I'm Zvachavan for this, and it doesn't work. You're telling me by the case of Maisa Behema. That also Bekavana doesn't work. So what in the world was Beishamei Tzushtali to Beisillo? Again, Hegdish Betois means I think I'm being magged or something. And I'm not. I made a mistake. I thought it's black, it's white. I thought it's gold, it's, it's silver. I thought it's, 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 it's wine, it's shaman. I, I thought one thing was the other thing. But I thought something. You are telling me, Beis Rav Nachman, that in the case of the scenario of 10 9, 10 if you're Mechavin, it doesn't work. Right? Only works with toys. Only if works if I make a mistake. Making a mistake is not hegdish with toys. Making a mistake is a mistake. Period. It's not a hegdish. I didn't do it. I wasn't magdish with toys. My mechavein obi. If I do bekavon, it doesn't work. I, that's that's hegdish with toys. I'm a chavin to say number nine is, is 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 ten, and it's not. Right. So therefore, what in the world, according to Rav Nachman, was Beis Shammai saying to Beis Hillel, It doesn't make any sense because Beis Hillel could have retorted, "What's your, what's your, what's your tushtel?" Amar Rav Sibur Rashi, I'll tell you why Beis Hillel didn't say that. Hainu time with loy Amar This is the reason Beis Hillel did not give that shuva to Beis Shammai. The kavachoyim who, because Beis Shammai would have had a kavachoyim. Ma ma'isa she'ena kodesh bekavana kodesh betois ma'isa behema, which is not kodesh bekavana, not, but betois it does work. Hegdish kiddish be kavana like kol shekain madach in a case where you don't have kavana it's kaddish right you don't have kavana at all it's betois certainly where you did have kavana it should be betois that luchar is a good kavachayim of lahi it's not a good kavachayim the hegdish bedaytei the mori talia the chalos of hegdish is totally in the das of the bow therefore it makes more sense to say that if his kavana was betois and didn't have that kavana that it wouldn't work. in other words what's that? what's the flow guys the flow is like this right. The flow, the flow, the flow is like this. Says Beishamim to Beisilol, Meister Behema. Says Rav Nachman, Meister Behema, only betoyes not kavana. Why did Rav Beishilol say to Beishamai, like, why do you, why do you tush telling this at all? The case of hegdish betoyes is we have kavana. Here's the case we don't have kavana. The answer is it's a kavachaina. Madok without kavana, it's 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 kaddish. Certainly, when you do have kavana, it's kaddish because you're mechavin for the act of hegdish. It says the Gemara, no, no, based, based, that's not a really, it's not a question of Nachman at all. Because since hegdish is totally in the kavana of the Baal, I would say when he didn't have the right kavana, it's nishkan kind of kavana. It's nothing. Where it's betoyis, okay. Where you know, as the Torah says that you know I didn't have any kavana whatsoever. I didn't have a kavana whatsoever. But where I have kavana, I would say you have to have the right kavana. And since you don't have the right kavana, what? Then it's not kaddish. So the kavachaim you wanted to make madash betoisa works. Certainly the kavana works. It's not a good kavachaimer because kavana. In other words, when I, 
since Kegs is totally Kavana, and it turned out that that was I was not Mechab before, it doesn't work. So therefore, that's why Rabbi Beis Hillel, like, uh, that, so the question is, so why didn't Beis Hillel give, give, give answer up? So Beis Hillel gave a better answer. Why did he answer? He answered that what? It's really a passing the Torah has nothing to do with what? With the act of Hegdish, and the biggest raya is that what? That if you say 8 and 12, it doesn't work. Okay, that's, that's the Gemara. Says the Mishnah. It says the Mishnah. Okay. Mi the Menazir, Vahalach Lehevi Es Behemtoi. So now he went ahead, he made a Nedim Menazir, Vahalach Lehevi Es Behemtoi, Umatza Shinig In other words, he's got a lot of cattle. He says, you know what? I'd love to bring a carbon. Not only that, I'd love to be a carbon with Kedusha. I'm really feeling holy these days. Or, or Adarabah, I'm really feeling not holy these days, and I want to be. You can either way. You need the Naziris because you're feeling Kaddish, or you need a little uh, little, you know, little help, right? So, and he makes an adder on Smach that this Kabbalah is there to be brought. Now, what happens? He goes there and he finds that there's no Kabbalah there. They're not there at all. Umatsa Shinignava, and he found that they were stolen. Imach like Nignava, Behemtai Nazir, if the Behemoths were there. If the Behemoths were there when he was Makabos in the series, Hari is a Nazir. Then what? Then, then he is a Nazir. If the Behemoths were there, then he is, he is a Nazir. However, on the base, if Mishnah Nigdava, then he must say Nazir. And if he was Makabos in the series, what? When, after the animals were stolen, then ain't a Nazir. Then he's not a Nazir. Okay? Now, what is this Tali on? Let's see the rush. Let's see the rush. What does the rush say? He made the das that he had animals. those animals. He went to look get the animals. And as a result of the animals being there, he's miscarried on his nirusai. So, in other words, it's, it seems to be he made his naziris contingent upon the animals being in this world, or being or being in his possession. When he finds out that on his possession, he's mischaret on what on his naziris. So what's the rule? If the animals were there at the time, his naziris is a naziris. If the animals were not there, then it's not. Continues the rush. In other words, doesn't have a Pesach. Had I known the animals would have been stolen, I never would have made that Naziris. Guys, again, again, that's very important. Had I known that the animals wouldn't be there, I would have never become a Nazir. L'chari, that's a Pesach, but it's not. Why not? Because it's Noilat. We had a Gemara in the Dorum, guys, that ain't poiskam in Noilat. You can't be have a Pesach on a future event that it's going to happen. So if the animals were there when he made his nether, he can't say, had I known the event that occurred, the Noilad in the future, that they would be stolen, I never would have made it. That's Pesach with Noilad. Memela, what does the Mishnah say? Harihu Nazir, he's a Nazir. Conversely, if the animals weren't there when he made the nether, had I known the animals were stolen, then that's not Noilad, because they were stolen. They weren't there anymore. That's the difference between the two. Continues the rush. How if, if after what? They were stolen, he made the nether. I said, Pesach? It's a Pesach. And the Chacham will go ahead and matter that. Good? Guys, you got it? Again, if, if, they, were sto- if they were there, and the then and they were stolen afterwards. Had I known, that's Noilat. If they weren't there, it's not Noilat. It's Mitzias that they weren't there now, and therefore it would be a good Pesach. And that's the distinction of the Mishnah between what was stolen and afterwards. It says that back in the Gemara Mishnah. This mistake Nacham Hamadai made. When the Nazir came up from Golos. And they found the base of the So you got a problem. They have the kabbanis over here. They're bringing their kabbanis, and there's no base of to bring them. So Amalehem Nachem Amadai, 
Had you known that the base of Migdash would have been destroyed, would you made the nether? Now, this is not I made this, I made, I made, I made this, what? I made this on my ass that I have a place to bring it. Had I known it would be destroyed, I never would have made it. So, I told him, Anyone who was in Kamal Naziris before the base of English was destroyed is still a Nazir. And anyone who was in Kamal Naziris after afterwards is not. Exact same thing. Just go ahead and switch Geneva for Chorban Bias. The same thing. Okay. That's that, that, so not, that's when Nacham Lord. I heard a beautiful shot, guys. Listen to this from, from, from the Rav David Salavech. That's how. We've had not too many times. We had maybe once, maybe once we're going to have many more times in the future about. Kitchen we shine a kitchen lost the love. With Eretz Yisrael was Kaddish, was Kaddish the Shaita, was the Kaddish only for them, or Kaddish lost the love. Right. There's a day uh, that even if the, if, if uh, the be- that the base Hamikdash would be Kaddish, and there, there was the whole Shiloh we had from re- the Kala Sharov, whether Bismana say you could bring the carbon Pesach, right? Bismana say you could bring the carbon Pesach or not. It's a big, a big, uh, big Torah. So Chayyim like that. Why would it be a problem if the base of Migdash was destroyed? According to that, that opinion, that Kitchel Shaith of the Kitchel Lavai, you should be able to bring it. You should be able to bring the carbon, right? You should be able to bring it right away. So the, the answer of Salavacha gave was, was very posh. Because it wasn't a halachic decision, it was a practical decision. After it was destroyed, who was, who was in control of the base of the area? The Romans. In other words, it's not shot in a, in a zero stick it in. It's it's a police ticket in, you know. It's, I couldn't bring it because I couldn't bring it. And that's it. It's very interesting. Like I couldn't bring it because I couldn't bring it. And I couldn't bring it. I had no choice. I couldn't bring it. But that that's that's just the answer. Anyway, the that, that, but the Pesach Menoilad, not Pesach Menoilad. That's the Shailad here. So Amar Rav says Rav, Shitfuhu Rabbanon Rebeliezer. The Rabbanon swept away Rebeliezer. Vuukmi b'shita saihu, and they were what? And they got Rebeliezer Rebbe to agree to their din. Did not. Poiskim benoilad divi Rebeliezer. We had a Gemara in the Darim that you could be Poiskim benoilad. That's what Rebeliezer Rebbe says. The Chacham and Moisrim. And the Chacham says it's Asa. And the Chacham says it's Asa. Now, where do you see Rebeliezer Rebbe would agree? Because he did not open, he did not say anything to Nacham. He was one of the Chachamim that told Nachim, if the Beis Hamidus was destroyed before, then you could be Pesach, but if not, it's Pesach Nolot. Now, how do you know Rebbe Leza was, this Rebbe Leza was around? Look at the rush. Beautiful rush, guys. Look at the rush. Shatfuhu vehiviruhu misvarasai. They swept away, and they got Rebbe Leza over to their side. V'hoidu l'nevreyem tu v'imayda. Shahari Rebbe Leza hoya b'shas ha'chorbin. Rebeliezer ben Horkinus was alive at the time of the Churban. Kedisa Perak Hanizakin, the fifth Perak in Gittin. So Rebeliezer, Rebbe Yeshua, Nasu Mitasa Shalvi Yachin and Zakai, Kesha Yeshua Mishalayim. Just to, just again, Kansa by Kansa fame, we were living in this Gemara every, every Tish above, that there was the Biyonim, they were these gangsters, they gone ahead and they, they burnt, they wanted to go ahead and have a fight with the Romans, right? They, the Romans sieged Yerushalayim. There was a plenty of food and drink and everything. They had food, wood, and everything. The three richest people they destroyed all those warehouses because they wanted to go ahead and initiate a rebellion. And they, Rabbi Yochum and Zakai wanted to go out and, and make peace, right? So they they wouldn't let him out of the city. But he had a relative who who, who told him, "Go ahead, make believe you're dead, and make sure your tummy them carry you." Because everyone says that what a chai noy says that's my. So if you're really dead, they will realize that you're alive because you're not so heavy. Who carried him? Who carried him? Rabbi, Rabbi Yochum and Zakai. So Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yeshua and Chananya. So you see, he was live at this time. So you see, this is speaking this man of Churban Bayis by Nachum and Madai. They're bringing it up. It's Churban Bayis Sheni. So you see, Rabbi Yehuda was alive. He says the rush beautifully. They have a raya that Rabbi Yehuda went over to the side because Rabbi Yehuda did not disagree in the Mishnah, or else he would have agreed with Nachum that you can place him in Neilad. And even the ones that made their nether before the base of Megiddo was destroyed will be able to remove the Nazirus. So that's how they swept away the fact that the rush proves that Rebbe Leizer was alive at the time. Very gishmak. Okay. Now says the Chachamim that even though 
that you can't be Paisach ben Noilad, but Paisachim b'tenai Noilad. We'll see what that means in a second. Ditan, b'chacham and Moisim. Vom Rav, Avon Gav, Dom Rav, Bona, and Paisachim ben Noilad, Avon Paisachim b'tenai Noilad. Heki Domi, Amri Lachayim, Ilu Ata Inish, Asa Inish, of a person would come along, for Om Lachayim and tell you, the Chara Beis HaMikdash, that the Beis HaMikdash might have been destroyed, me having that to resign, would you make the Neda? And that would be a good Pesach. That Tanai would be a good time. What's the difference? Let's see the rush. What's the difference? Okay. Uh, of a person with Tanai Noilad, says the rush. The Amin and Lahu, Ilu Asa Inshi, the Ami Lahu, the Chara Beis HaMikdash, the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed, me having that to would you have made a Neda? Ilu Hoyu Boy and Anoshim, Boy and Noisim Lachem Eitza, Shaloi Teduru, you should not be in Kabul Naziris. Ula Yechra Beis HaMikdash, in other words, right now it's standing. But had maybe what? Maybe you should be become Naziris because maybe by the time you finish the Naziris, it won't be there. Had you known that when you made the Naziris, that's not Paisa Benoila, that's tonight, Noila. It's tonight for the future. Not, not, you're not saying, had I known the base Amir, this was the, there's no bias, I would have made it. Had I known the possibility exists that it might be destroyed, continues the rush. They say yes. We would have gone ahead and, and asked you, we would have listened to you. Pesach, that's a good Pesach. Even though the Eitzah is Tali and Noilad, whether it's destroyed or not. The Dami Laha, it's similar to the Amma Perek Dalad in the Darim. Ilu Ba Yud Ben Ayodam, who Paisucha, and they were Mephias you. So you see Noida Klum, you see Noida, that'd be Pesach. That's considered a Pesach. Listen, listen, listen up, listen up, listen up, Shaggy. Since his toilet, his in the eights of people and not in his own mind, Pesach Even though the eights is Tali and Noilad, that's a good Pesach. Even though the eights is Tali and Noilad, that's a good Pesach. Even though the eights is Tali and Even though the eights was Machmas and Noilad, Mikri Noilad, you know why? He's not being chayzer because of the noilad. He's being chayzer because of the eitza. In other words, they're giving him an eitza. They're telling him the following: When you when, before you make this neda, would you had would you keep in mind that you know what that you may not be able to complete it? Had you known that, would you have made the neda? And the answer is no. Now, obviously, the beis hamikdash is noilad, but the eitza that they're giving is not noilad. The eitza is giving in, is, is what. Had you known that the possibility exists that it wouldn't be, that's not Noilan. And therefore, place it for tonight, Noilan. Yes, Shragi. So then there's no such thing as Noilan. You could always use that, you use that Eitzah for any, any Noilan, you can use that Eitzah. Not, not necessarily. In the Mishnah, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. In other words, if, if, if your possibility exists to do that, ain't a chinami. But if the possibility doesn't exist, in other words, if you word something properly, if you were, you know, the if Chacham is a big Chacham, ain't a Chanami. If you word something properly, it's not, not. Again, it depends upon him. Okay, but again, we see, you just have to word it properly and you're good to go. We see the distinction between the Tanai Noilad and Noilad. The Tanai Noilad is, in other words, what's the Tanai? The eights of the Chachamim. I, the eights is in a Noilad, that's Tanai Noilad. But if the Charata is Noilad itself, then not. That's the distinction between the two. Okay, so Rabbi Yosef is going to come along. Rabbi Yosef is going to tie in a, I could have got you out of this. Rabbi Yosef is going to tie in, I could have got, got you out of this. What, what does Rabbi Yosef say? Let's see. Says the Gemara. I'm Rabbi Yosef. E havi hasam. If I was around by Nachman Mardai's time, he lived much later. Havamina luhun. I would have said the following. Haksiv. The pasuk says in Yemia. The pasuk says the following. Al tiftuchu lachem el dibri asheka leimar. Do not listen to them. To the words of Shekha saying, Hechel Hashem, Hechel Hashem, Hechel Hashem, Hema. So we have three Hechel Hashem. One for the Bayes Rishon, one for the Bayes Shani, one for the Bayes Shlishi. So now, Zemidash Rishon, Umidash Shani. Now, so they're saying, you see that what? That that's not Noilad. Since they what? They know the base Hamidash is destroyed. Because you say, Hechel Hashem, Hechel Hashem. So you know that what? That the base Hamidash is, 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 is destroyed. So therefore, Lechaira, it would be no lot. Yemi is giving Musa to the people in his generation, right? And he's saying that if the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed and they built a second Beis HaMikdash, and if that was destroyed and they built a third one, so you see the Nevu of Yemiah, 
that the Beis Hamidrash is going to be destroyed. Even if he, was, he lived in the Bayis Rishon, it's going to be destroyed. And therefore, it, if they thought about that, it would not be Noilat. So says the Gemara, Nehi de Yodin Lahoin de Yichroif, good, they know it's going to be destroyed. In other words, so we want now we're disproving Rabbi Yosef. Good, they know that it's going to be destroyed from Yermia, Mi Yodin the Amasai, but they don't know when. So good, the knowledge of it being destroyed is there. But when is not there, and that's Noilat, exactly when it's destroyed. Says the Gemara, one second, I can't even tell you when. They don't know when it's going to be destroyed. It said, Shivuim Shivim, 70 times 7, 490. How long did the second bias stand for? 420. How many years ago was 70? So, in other words, you know it's going to be destroyed. So, it's not Noilat. I know it's going to be destroyed 490 years after the destruction of the first bias. I was, and Nachamamad is speaking by Shani. So, why is it considered Noilat? So it's not Noilat. So we want to go ahead. Abaya wants to go ahead and reestablish uh, Rabbi Yosef's uh, reason to go ahead and remove the Noilat. Says the word of the Pasuk in, in, in Daniel. So you know 490. And for the Gemara, no, it's still Noilat. Good, you know the year, but you don't know the date. Since you don't know the date, therefore why it's considered Noilat, and therefore Rabbi Yosef. Your Eitzah is this kind of Eitzah. In Nachman Mode was wrong. It's still Noilad. And Rabbi Eliezer and everyone at Charata. And therefore, you won't be able to use it as a Pesach. Okay, everyone should have a good Shabbos. We'll see you in Shabbos for a very quick daf.